Hey y'all, today we're once again playing Ivy. I decided the past few days to try out Spirit Ivy instead of always just using the support slash bullet damage build that I've been using in the past. Something that I can really say about this build is that farming and managing waves is made immensely easier once you get a couple items. And as a side note, I did have different games with this build with more kills or more damage, but I really do think that the best part of running this is your ability to apply pressure around the map. And in my opinion, this game really just shows that off the best compared to the other ones that I played. All right, getting into the game. Laning phase is rough. We have Ivy and Dynamo, two support like characters who scale into having damage and impact. And the enemy team has Pocket and Wraith who are both lane bullies. Wraith also scales, but yeah, both of those just have really strong lane potential early on and we don't really have that. So playing as Ivy in this position, all we can do is try to not fall behind. And if our Dynamo goes in, I'll attempt to help him out. But yeah, this lane's rough. And as I said before, I see Dynamo going in. So I'm going to try to land a one and three on the Wraith as soon as she backs up. And we get a melee off as well, but we aren't able to finish the kill and Pocket's doing a ton of damage to us. So instead of dying, I'm just deciding to back off here. And at this point, Wraith should be full backing. And I'm thinking that that's what I should be doing too. But then I also decide, you know what, if I stay, I could either buy regen or healing right and I'll be fine. So I just go for that instead. And we're seeing now that Wraith actually did decide to stay too, which is really, really good for us that we didn't leave. Because if we did, we would just be immensely behind at this point. And like like I said before, we're either going to buy healing right or extra regen. I decided to opt into extra regen just to get a little bit more ammo at this point too. And at two minutes, all of the small camps on the map spawn as well as boxes and golden statues. So as long as we have the wave pushed up like we do relatively well here, I'm just going to back up clear a camp and try to get as many boxes and things as I can. Doing this just gives the wave time to push back toward us so then we can be a little bit more safe considering that Pocket and Wraith are very strong compared to us at this point in the game. And now I picked up monster rounds. This is actually something that I pick up first in the majority of my games just because it helps me clear the minions faster. It helps me clear camps faster and it helps us take down the guardians. And all of that is just really good and helps us scale into late game. So I definitely would recommend picking up monster rounds first on Ivy. I tried to statue the Pocket here, but he just just turned into a satchel and that means that we're both invulnerable so he doesn't take any damage and i end up taking some as i back up and right here dynamo decides to full back and i think that i'm fine so i just Play this a little bit more aggressively than I should have, and it's not good. And by playing this aggressively, I mean I just meleeed the minions. But since we're against Wraith and Pocket, this was not a good idea because they can just deal a ton of damage, and I thought that I would be fine to just live it and then stow form after, but I was wrong. So while I was dead, I picked up Restorative Shot. This just gives us a bit more damage and some more healing and sustain, which we definitely need in this lane. All right, and so basically all we could really do in this lane to not die is use our kudzu bombs to either hit the enemies and try to make them back up or thin down the wave like I did right here. Dynamo goes in and he hits his kinetic pulse, so I just decide to try to help him out and it doesn't really do much for us, honestly. Wraith then decides to jump in 1v2 onto our dynamo, so I just proc my two, use the resto shot, and just try to out trade the damage. And this actually goes pretty well for us. She backs up, but then I can't really do much against Pocket. So once again, we push the lane really hard here. What I should be doing is backing up and seeing if there's anything else that I can clear. But since the camp's up, I decided to just hang out and see if Wraith actually comes back with low health. She shows back up with full health, so there's not much I could really do here. And that just means we are once again falling back and just trying to do that same thing over again. Thank you. 
And since I pushed that wave, I decided it's a good time to run back and clear this camp. Dynamo decides to go in though, and I was not ready for that. If you look at the soul count right now, both Wraith and Pocket have over 3k, which means they both have their ultimate abilities, whereas Dynamo and I both do not. We just need to farm until we hit 3k, and then that's our only chance at even having an attempt at winning the fight, but he decides to go in, Wraith ults him, and yeah. The only thing I maybe could have done to help him there was stone form and hit the Wraith, but he died so fast that I'm not even sure if that would have helped. As Dynamo comes back to the lane, I decide that I'm going to ult in and see if there's anything we could do. And I do hit them both with my ultimate. And I try to get a melee onto the pocket, but it got a little bit weird with me landing and I missed, but it's okay because Dynamo finished off the kill. And I'm really trying to apply pressure to this Wraith now because I know that she doesn't have an ultimate. I know that I'm behind, but maybe there's a chance that I can kill her with half health. But cards hitting for 200 hurt really bad, so I just need to get out. Dynamo stayed and died once again, sadly, but it's fine. I'm just going to back up, probably by healing right now, and heal back up and hopefully just keep farming and keep scaling. I also bought Enduring Spirit. This just gives us a little bit of spirit power and a little bit of spirit lifesteal, so whenever our one hits, we are healing. This doesn't do much for us right now, but as we start to scale our spirit power later on, it'll start to add up. Dynamo comes back to lane and once again gets very aggressive, but I don't have my ultimate or my three, so I can't do really much to help him. And I'm just trying to make sure Pocket doesn't teleport behind him. If he does, I'm trying to put as much pressure on him as I can. But instead, they both just full aggro onto the Dynamo and once again, he dies. And at this point, I'm down about 1k from both of them in souls and he's down almost 2000 souls and we just need to stop dying. So I just type like, I don't think that we can really go in on them. We just need to chill out. And this is exactly why we can't go in. We can only pressure from our turret. I got hit by a card and the ghost from pocket and it took me down 400 health immediately. Luckily here, our Abrams is rotating over because him and Lash won the green lane. So I throw a kudzu out to try to help them and just keep them taking damage while Abrams locks them down. And I'm just going to keep clearing this out because we don't want to lose any farm. The kudzu actually does get the last hit on the Wraith and I decided to jump in here thinking that we can maybe take Pocket down too. We are losing farm, but if we can get both kills, that's absolutely perfect. Instead, Pocket fully backs up, so we're just going to try to take down the Guardian if we can. Wraith and Pocket are now back, so I just need to back up and try to stone for him to get some health back and see if there's anything we can do. And there isn't really, but I did just hear our Haze ult the enemy bebop, so I'm just going to run over and see if I can help that out. My one damage definitely mattered there, by the way. And now thanks to that one damage, we can start to push this Guardian here. Uh, my parry was weird and decided it didn't want to go off here, so I just got hit by the Guardian like an idiot. Alright, now Wraith is here and our Haze is also backing up, so I'm just going to throw a Kudzu to try to slow her down in case she decides to chase, and I'm then going to hopefully either clear camps or go back to a different lane. But for some reason, uh, the enemy in Furnace is here trying to clear our camp, so instead I'm just going to kill him. As soon as I see him flame dash, I am going to use my ultimate just to be able to stay on him without taking damage from the fire. We get the knock up with our ultimate and just a couple more shots and punches are enough to take him down. And since we have three people here against the one pocket, I'm deciding to go on in and see if we can secure the Guardian. Right. 
we do get the guardian but now there's multiple enemies here and i take a ton of damage so i have to back up and try to stone form for some more health and then see if there's any way that i can help the team out after that i'm hearing seven uses ultimate here and i feel like the best pressure that i can apply is to try to get him to cancel it so i'm just gonna get to a safe spot and start shooting him All right, and that's that, I guess. They're not pushing anymore, and our teammates are all safe, so I'm just going to continue to clear the wave, continue to clear camps, try to get some more money. Infernus is going in on us, so instead of just standing in his fire, I'm just going to ult immediately and see if I can just right click and drop the bomb and secure a kill that way. But once again, the enemy team is very aggressively clearing our camps, this bebop's here, and we are able to secure a kill on both of them after a little bit of chasing. All right, now we have our kudzu fully leveled up and I'm going to start to level up my ultimate all the way. Once we get our five point ultimate upgrade, it also becomes a silence, which just makes us very annoying to deal with in the late game. And I do just want to point out here too, even though we were way behind in the early game, I was down about 1k, Dynamo was down about 2k. Because of how we've been playing since the laning phase ended, Dynamo is now equal with Pocket, above Wraith, and I have more souls than both of them. So even though we were behind, mid game we were able to catch up just by making good rotations and clearing whatever we found along the way. All of that to say, it's completely fine to play safe in the laning phase if that's what you have to do. Also when I went to the shop I bought rapid recharge for my one and I also bought divine barrier. This is just a active ability that I can cast on myself to give me spirit shield, bullet shield, and movement speed. And since we bought that I'm just making sure that they can't push our blue walker while our team is off doing other things. Since there are three people here and I'm hoping that my teammates will rotate over soon, I decide to ult and see if there's anything we could do, but they all just kind of backed up. So this was sort of a wasted ult. It looks like Abrams is going in here, so I'm deciding to back him up, but everyone just sort of backed away from each other and nothing happened, so I can't really do much. In this situation, don't overcommit. There's more enemies than there are friendly people nearby, and we don't want to die. We don't want to feed away the lead that we're slowly building. We just want to continue to build that up. Also, Ivy's three completely counters Bebop's most often used rotation. So if you're ever fighting him, you don't have to be afraid as long as your three is long cooldown. Now that the friendly team is on the blue lane, I'm going to rotate, try to clear some camps, and maybe push up purple after. Sadly, this camp was basically cleared by the bebop earlier in the game. Also, a fed McGinnis on the enemy team is not a fun McGinnis to fight. This one rushed Mystic slow, so if I get hit by a turret, I'm just kind of screwed. But as I was backing up, I do see our friendly team's Lash going in and trying to deal with her, so I decided to help out even though I don't have Kudzu's to deal with the turrets. And that hurt really bad.
And last is ult in the beginners here, so I decided to follow up with an ult of my own. And I'm hoping that between the two of those, we'll have enough to take her down. But she just threw down two more turrets, and I got hit by the wall, so I'm just kind of dead here. Lash does trade the kill, but that was a two for one for the McGinnis, which isn't the best for us. And then I decided to pick up Healing Nova and Extra Spirit. I'm wanting to save up for a Refresher here. I don't want to buy another Spirit item until I get Refresher because that'll just help me deal with everything a whole lot better. A big part of the reason why I think Spirit Ivy is more of a late game build than like Bullet Support Ivy is because the three key items that really help this build to pop off are Refresher, Escalating Exposure, and Diviner's Kevlar, which are all very expensive. You can get away with like two of the three, but I do feel like Refresher is needed every single game. And now that I have the purple lane pushed up, I'm seeing that there is a fight going on on both our green and our blue lanes. So I'm just going to rotate over to blue and see if there's anything I can do to help with that. We do get pulled in by Bebop, but we are just going to throw out some kudzus and use our stone form into our ultimate and see if we can take down any of the enemy team here. We do take down Infernus with just our kudzus and our stone form. And while our team is dealing with the pocket, I'm seeing if I could just keep the Bebop here um sadly our team never actually rotates over and i don't really have enough damage at this point without refresher to take him on so i end up just backing up and there's still a fight happening over here but i don't really have any of my cooldowns so i'm just gonna try to very slowly move over and see if i can help out and the enemy pocket does land right next to us with basically no health so we can just finish them off with our gun This fight is happening for no reason at this point. They're pushing our green lane. Our purple lane is getting pushed into the walker. So I'm going to rotate over to purple and ping it so Lash knows that I'm not with him anymore. And this will just let me get refresher and then I can help the team out anywhere from there. And now our ultimate is fully leveled, so whenever we hit somebody with a bomb from that, they are silenced. And from here, we're just going to level up our stone form all the way, because once that's leveled, we get a ton more healing from it. This can buy me some time. Now that we have refresher, I'm going to head over to the green lane and see if I can help out there. It does look like I should be able to pick off Infernus here, so I hit him with the bomb, I throw a kudzu, and I stun him just to keep him within the kudzu for even longer, and our team comes up and finishes off the kill. And while they push that, I'm deciding to back here so I can go to purple. Lash actually heads there before me, so I'm just going to buy and then head back out to wherever it looks like I'm needed on the map. We do pick up improved range for our one. This just makes the kudzu even bigger. And now we can just fly around and throw those and then fly around and throw them more. This more often than not is just really annoying for the enemy team because there's just going to be constant big area slows around them now. And I was coming over to blue to help out the team, but it looks like everyone left the green lane. So now I'm heading back dynamo is too and i can just rotate wherever i'm needed from here with my ultimate Since it doesn't look like anything really important is going on with the map right now, I'm just deciding to take this camp and after see what's going on.
Abrams is doing Abram things, and I did just see multiple people on the green lane, so I'm just gonna go check that out. Once again, I have two bombs on me, but it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna press three. There's a big wave coming over to blue right here, and I thought the enemy team was gonna push up with that, so I ulted over threw a kudzu bomb to take out all the minions and realized that nobody was there so i'm just going to continue to ult until i get over to purple we pick up the kill on infernus and now it is once again lash and i in a 2v1 against this mcginnis and i don't want to deal with it so i'm just going to refresh her get all my cooldowns back and we'll take her out that way And with these two kills, I'm deciding that I'm just going to push up purple at this point and see if I can grab that walker. We do see other people on the map, so I'm not necessarily the most afraid. And if people do show up, I'm thinking that we should be able to get away with our healing Nova and our divine barrier. Walker's down and Infernus is here, so I'm just gonna back up a little bit, throw Kudzu down at my feet, and see if he continues to chase. I was hoping that if he did chase after me, I could just stone form him into the Kudzu, but he decided to back up, and that's completely fine. We're safe at this point. And that is another enemy Walker down, and we're at 6,200 souls, so I'm gonna go back up and grab Escalating Exposure and then try to help out the team once again. This time the team didn't need our help and they were able to secure multiple kills without me. So they're gonna go to mid boss now. And since I just used my ultimate, I'm deciding that I'm gonna push up the green lane and the blue lane and just see if that's helpful enough. Not enough people end up going to the mid boss, so I will rotate over. I was just thinking that since everyone was here, I was fine enough to clear some waves, but I wasn't. All right, and Ivy and mid boss, the honestly best thing that you could do is try to stone form. I timed it slightly late here, but this just makes it to where if anybody comes in and tries to steal it, you're just stunning them before they can. And in my head here, the most important thing to do is get the blue walker down. We have the rejuvenator, so if I die, it's not the biggest deal, but I'm not necessarily trying to. Our friendly team is chasing the Infernus and the Bebop right now, and we have two other people on our yellow lane trying to defend that against McGinnis. So I definitely should have played back further, but I was feeling strong. I mess up and I use my stone from too early because of how aggressively I was playing, which just means she can ult me. I try to back up as far as I can, but it wasn't far enough. So I just throw a Kudzu down seeing Lash coming in and we're able to at least assist a kill rather than just die for nothing. And I just decided to buy Improved Cooldown and Mystic Shot here for a bit more damage. All of our waves look pushed enough and our entire team is now pushing down the blue walker so I'm just deciding to zipline boost as fast as I can up there to help out. My ultimate is ready and refreshers up again in 15 seconds so this should be a really good push for us. Our ultimate finishes off McGinnis. I throw a kudzu to try to keep seven from getting back to his teammates and then I try to land on Infernus's head but I slightly miss. It's fine we're just gonna refresh her and do it all again. I was trying to self cast this but I ended up picking up great talent so uh good luck my dude. Uh, throw Great Talent in, we end up silencing two members of the enemy team, and I'm just throwing Kudzu everywhere. We don't want them to have any ways around. We don't want them to be able to get away. All right, now Infernus is the only member of the enemy team alive. Bebop will be up in 12 seconds, but this is either a push to win or we're getting everything but the final patron.
I climb up here to find a nest of turrets that McGinnis has been putting down. So I just need to back up and I'm just going to try to heal me and a couple of my teammates with healing Nova. And then we're going to push back in. One Kudzu should be enough to take those turrets down. So that's all I did. And then I decided I was going to try to land a stun onto this Infernus, not realizing that our Abrams had the seven stun on him. And I just get taken down because of that. I decided to buy a superior cooldown here and I actually view it onto my four. I feel like putting that on the four is a lot more value than putting it on the one. I also grabbed duration extender. And then I'm contemplating between spirit lifesteal and spirit armor and just decide to go with spirit lifesteal because I think I'm dealing enough damage to be able to heal a ton. The enemy in furnace was pushing our purple in pretty hard. So I'm just going to go throw one kudzu and nullify that and then go see where I could help out the team once again. It looks like a fight is starting to break out on the blue lane, so I'm just going to ult on over and do what I can to throw kudzus, knock people up, and stun them until they die. We end up getting an assist on the enemy team seven and nobody on our teams died. So now we can just push for the win here. I do have refresher in 10 seconds. So basically as soon as I can use that, I am going to. Bebop pulls in our lash and I throw a kudzu bomb into the area that he wants to go. Instead, Abrams just kind of throws him into the wall and kills him. And now that we have refresher, it's once again my time to shine. I'm going to pop that, use my ultimate and throw kudzus everywhere. Oh yeah, and I missed like basically all these at the end of the game too, so that wasn't the best, but we end up winning here, so it's fine. And I was honestly really scared of the 7 ult, but if 7 ever ults, especially if they go for any build that isn't fully focused on their ultimate, you don't have to be afraid of it. It does absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's Spirit Ivy. It's a little bit different than like the bullet heal support Ivy that I've been playing, but it's also a ton of fun. You can just run around through your kudzus and fix waves and then rotate to the team with your ultimate and just continue to spam one. It's fun. It's definitely like rewarding considering you could just be all around the map. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the gameplay.